Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Ham Radio Dude. Uh, you know, maybe you're at a ham fest and you're looking for a specific NFED halfway Ventana, a uh, 49 to 1. And the thing is, you get to this table, you find an NFED, but you don't know whether or not it's a 49 to 1. You ask the guy and he's like, duh, I just sell people's junk that I find. Uh, so that doesn't really help. How do you tell that it's a 49 to 1? I'm going to show you real quick right now. If I were to ask you right now, what is this right here? You'd say, well, that's a 49 to 1. I'd ask you why, and you'd say, well, because I've seen pictures of it all over the internet. And yeah, sure, that's the correct answer. Great, but why? I'm going to talk more about primary versus secondary in another episode, but what I will tell you is each NFED halfway antenna, like a 49 to 1, will have a primary and a secondary. And what that is is a series of wire that actually goes into two different spots. So usually you could tell with a 49 to 1 that uh, there's a primary based upon twist. And when the twist ends, the primary typically ends. But uh, what happens is, is that every time you see the inside here is a turn. So we have two twists here, and then we lose the twist, right? Well, the primary now consists of two turns. So we, we count the turns on the inside of the toroid. So every time you see it come out of the inner portion of the toroid, that's a turn. So one, two on the primary, okay? Just remember that, and I'll write it down in a second. But then we continue on, because that was actually intertwined with the secondary, which is going to go out to our antenna portion as well as the counterpoise portion. And so we already had two twists on the secondary as well, since they were kind of together. And uh, if I didn't say it already, they don't need to be together, but they typically are. So we have two twists on the secondary, and then we continue on three, four, five, six, seven, because we're measuring from the inside. Eight is the one that goes across. It doesn't need to go across. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then it comes out. So we've counted 14 on the secondary from the inside. I'm gonna let orange be the primary. And we had two turns on the primary, okay? And then I'm gonna let the white be the secondary. We had a total of 14 turns, okay? I believe that's 14. But the point is, is we have, again, two turns on the primary and 14 turns total on the secondary, which is, you know, it actually equates to one over seven if you reduce it to the, the like least common denominator kind of deal or whatever. And here's the most important thing that you need to know. Inductance should always be proportional to the square of turns. Okay, what does that mean? What's one squared? It's one. What is seven squared? It's 49. So this thing here is a 49 to one. Or some people call it a one to 49. You get it? I donated my artistic creativity to charity, and so I no longer have it. So I'm just going to tell you, if you had three turns on the primary, okay, so we're going to let 3P, and then you had 21 turns on the secondary, could you tell me what that means, or what you see there? What kind of NFED half wave would that be? And I want you to remember the same thing I just told you. Inductance should be proportional to the square of turns. Let's reduce it, okay? So 21 actually goes into 3 7 times, or 1 7, right? I'll be, and then the square, seven squared, uh, equals uh, one over 49. And so that's where you get your one to 49 or your 49 to a one and fed half wave, right? So it's an NFED half wave. As long as you see 21 turns here and you see three turns here and you do the math and it comes out to one to 49, it's a 49 to one. Oh, but what if it doesn't cross in the middle? Uh, it doesn't have to cross in the middle. Well, what if the primaries are on this side and the 21 secondaries are on this side? Yes, it may affect a bunch of different stuff we could talk about later, but it's still a 49 to 1. Interesting, huh? One more, one more example because I'm having a good time, right? Tell me what this is, and I'm not going to tell you. You could let me know in the comments below. Uh, okay, so we're going to keep the three turns on the primary. What does that mean one more time? It means that every time... The wire comes around the inside of the toroid as a turn. So we have three turns on the primary. And this time, we notice that there's a total of 24 turns on the secondary. Let me know below uh, what kind of NFED half wave that's going to be. Now, uh, we've learned how to figure out that the NFED half wave, for example, is a 49 to 1. Uh, but this is really interesting, too. What if we took 49 and we multiplied it by 50 ohms, you'd get something like 24 
50 ohms. And 24 50 ohms is a very high impedance value. And that's exactly the point of an NFED half wave is you're taking a high impedance and you're transforming it into something that the radio could read near or around 50 ohms. I hope you learned a lot. And uh, that's what this is all about. Quick episodes, a lot of learning. Have a good one. I'm Ham Radio Dude 73.